Hey, Teddy K here for the Best Buy blog, and in this video review, we take a look at the Google Pixelbook Go. This is Google's latest Chromebook, which features a simplified form factor and one of the best keyboards you can type on. Last year, Google came out with the Pixel Slate, and that was more tablet than laptop. The Pixelbook Go is more laptop than anything else. I mean, this can't even be described as a tablet, even though it has a touchscreen. Uh, it is a Chromebook that is every bit what a laptop should be and every bit what a Chromebook should be. So there's a lot of good things about this device that I really like, but compared to the original Pixelbook, there are a couple things that stand out as well. One of the first things is despite the fact that this is a 13.3 inch display, it has a different aspect ratio than the original Pixelbook. This is a 16 by nine compared to the three by two that the previous Pixelbook had. So that is more ideal for video. Uh, if you're watching a movie, you'll, you'll, it just seems to fit better on the screen which is great, uh, but the resolution also depends. There is a 4K version of the Pixelbook Go, but the one I reviewed here was the 1080p one. So uh, there's only one, uh, only one variant that has 4K, the other ones have 1080p screens. The screen is fairly vibrant. It's more or less the same as the, as the Pixelbook in terms of just how sharp it is. Uh, I, I know that there were some people who didn't like it. I, I, I liked it a lot, I thought it was great. I probably would give a slight edge to the original Pixelbook in terms of screen quality, but it's really not that big a difference, at least in my eyes. A couple other things are the fact that the hinge here does not go all the way back. So if you remember with the Pixelbook, the original one, you could go all the way to 360 degrees. Uh, this is like a laptop, so the hinge will only go back as far as, well, basically as you see here. Uh, the Pixelbook pen also will not work on this screen. So even though there's such a uh, touchscreen display, it, the pen just doesn't seem to work with, uh, with the device either. Uh, but a lot of the other things are the same. So Chrome OS largely looks and feels the same on this. Uh, there's no real difference there. If you do like Chromebooks, this is one of the, probably one of the best experiences you'll find. And, and one thing I really like that Google did with this one is first of all, okay, I'm gonna gush over the keyboard. If there's one feature I'm gonna go, I'm gonna to get to that in a second. I, I really do like the design. I really like the, the feel of this rippled uh, under, undercoating here, which just, it's not rubberized, although it kind of looks like it is, and it just makes it really easy, easy to grip. Uh, so I love that. And if, now I can get to the keyboard because I'm gonna gush over this a little bit. This is one of the best keyboards I have typed on on any laptop, period. And I've typed on a lot of them in my time. Uh, I, it just, everything about it, uh, the size of it, which is, I mean, it's full size, but the, the layout, just the way the keys feel, the travel time uh, of each key, the, the, the lack of noise when typing, uh, everything about it is, is just great. I mean, the, their backlit keys, which is also great too. But I think if you're, if you work on a lot of word processing, processing documents and you type a lot and you wanted to use something lightweight, so a Chromebook would appeal to you this is pretty much the perfect storm. You have something that would be lightweight to use, but the keyboard would be so much fun to use. It'd be a joy to type on it. And that's exactly how I felt. I mean, I wrote the written review for this on the Pixelbook Go. And I, I mean, I, I think I may write many more after this. Like it, uh, it, it, it is by far, I think the best feature of the device. There are a couple others that I think are really good too, but this is probably one of the best things about it. The trackpad that come, that, that's with it is also quite good. Um, I wouldn't say it's exceptional, but it's certainly good enough and fairly responsive. I do like that Google also fixed the Bluetooth issues that sometimes plagued the original Pixelbook. I, I had very few, if any, issues with Bluetooth here. There was one thing that happened uh, on, on occasion with YouTube, where if YouTube was left open, for a longer period of time. And then I had it paired with the Bluetooth speaker. So I had the, the laptop paired with the Bluetooth speaker. For some reason, I, whenever I would try to play a video after, it'd be silent. Closing the app and then reopening the app would always solve that, but that's really the only time I ran into any problems in terms of Bluetooth on this device. So kudos to Google for finally fixing that issue. Now, beyond that, the performance is, I think, what you would expect from a Chromebook. So the app support is pretty good. You have the Google Play Store available, and more and more apps are now being optimized for Chromebooks like this. So that's always a good sign. And you can always download Android apps too, even if they have a bit of, you know, that phone orientation. Not ideal, but you can at least download them if you need to. So there is that. 
Chrome OS is pretty lightweight, so you'll find that there's not too many issues and too many slowdowns or even crashes the 10 app. And I, I've always had a pretty seamless experience using uh, Chrome OS, and especially on a device like this, it, it does function quite well. Battery life is excellent. So battery life, Google rated at 12 hours, and yet I got more than that in some cases. So I, I, I ended up getting 13 hours on very moderate usage at one point, which I thought was really, really good. But even on video, even playing video, I was getting more than 10 hours routinely. So the battery holds up quite well. And I, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that there's, there's the Intel Core uh, i5 processor in here that I, at least in my variant, there is also the Core M3 version, but the Core i5 processor I have here, along with the fact that Chrome OS is not that much of a guzzler when it comes to battery life, it certainly plays a role. But between the, the typing experience, the app experience, and also the battery life, th there, there's a lot to like here. The form factor is nice too. I mean, I already talked about that a little bit, but I, I, I think it bears repeating because Ultimately, this is a, a, a lightweight device. Um, it, the black sort of finish is nice too. There is another color, but right now black is the only one we have in Canada. So it's it's all, the speakers are pretty good. Actually, the speakers I would even argue are even probably better than the original Pixel Book. But again, that's subjective. Uh, I do miss the rubberized armrests, like the, the, the palm rests that were on the original Pixel Book. Really, really like those. Uh, they were uh, basically, they flanked the trackpad. Unfortunately, those are not here. So it's all like a matte finish and uh, and yeah, and, I mean, you get the same ports, two USB ports, two USB, USB-C ports, one headphone jack, and, uh, and that's about it. Uh, just briefly also, if you do a lot of video calling, the front-facing camera is quite good, actually. It's only two megapixels, but it's 1080p, and I was surprised at the quality of it. Not as good in low light though, mind you, but even if you're using it in good lighting, it's, it's gonna look really good. So if you're doing any kind of video or you're gonna record yourself doing something or saying something, it, this is, it's not bad, especially if you're in a pinch. It's not gonna replace, I would argue, a really good smartphone or certainly not a mirrorless or DSLR camera, but it's, like I said, it's there in a pinch and you can use it. And that's my review of the Google Pixelbook Go. For the Best Buy blog, I'm Teddy K. Thanks for watching.